Good morning. It is a Wednesday and I'm still not feeling great. We're going to go pour a garage floor and then a couple pieces of driveway. I'm going to help the guys get it down and make sure everything's under control. And then I'm going to try to get out of there just like I did yesterday, come home and sleep. I think if I get one more good day of rest, um, you know, early day and then rest all afternoon, I think I'll be okay for tomorrow. We're starting a big job tomorrow. So I need to get back to my regular self. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Jewel. Good. You're going to be loaded working all these hours. Huh? I don't know, but your check's going to be like five grand. All right, morning. How are you? All right. You should be taking coffee for your guys who are sleeping on the job. <laughs> coffee won't help them. All right, have a good day. Yep. All right, I am pulling into the yard. It is 6.13, and I'm the only one here so far. Daryl called me, and he said he wants to drive to the job. I'm not sure why. He said he wants to take his motorcycle or something, so. He's gonna meet us over there. Oops, I missed. I gotta hook up the mesh trailer. We gotta take the buggy with us. Bring the mesh too. Missed again? Come on. All right, that should do it. Finally. Next year, I'm gonna buy another buggy, brand new one. Probably the same one. <clears throat> and then keep this one as a backup. This one's a few years old now. Actually, it'll be a few years old next year. It'd be nice to turn it into a backup. We just use this thing so much, and uh, if it ever breaks down in the middle of a pour, it's gonna be a problem. I've only had that happen one time, and what happened is uh, the steering shaft snapped. It just broke right in half, so you couldn't steer it. Thankfully, we had like seven guys in a job and we ended up wheelbarrow on the whole thing and we saved it but it wasn't fun now that i said that watch it break down today come on eric's here mike's here my old truck's still running good That's a, uh, that's a GMC Sierra 3500. It's got the, uh, the big block, the 8.1 Vortec. It's a really good motor and the uh, five-speed Allison. It's a good truck. I had that thing for a long time and it's gonna last for a lot longer even. It's clean too. I always wash it when I salted with it, plowed with it. The driver's side rocker is starting to go just a little bit, but overall it's pretty clean. Eric, you dropped your hook. Oh, Man, you wouldn't be able to pour without this. Like, I gotta go home. Daryl called me. He said he wants to meet us on the job because he's gonna drive his motorcycle and he don't want to drive it on a freeway. I said, why don't you drive your truck? He said, well, it's all full of stuff, like overflowing with stuff. You know, if Daryl says that, it's probably bad. Yeah, yeah really bad. You tired? Yeah. Me neither. I wish I knew somebody that knew how to buff. Buff? Buff a car. I mean like a professional, because no, on black paint, you know, you no, can mess don't. it up. Because <clears throat> some of them guys, they can make it look like a mirror, oh, I like know. you can shave in it. If I tried it, it would be so scratched, it would no. be all matted, it looks like you drove matte black. Woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Francisco's here, Marcel's here. What's wrong with you? You forgot your food? <laughs> It'll still be good tomorrow. It amazes me how fast some guys can trash trucks and equipment. Oh yeah. Like I'll see 2015s, that are they're all rotted out. out. I'm, how do you even do that? <laughs> I don't know. Paul. I, got, I got 2001, it's not, there's no rust on it. I don't even know how you do that. Just drive through rust water, uh, salt water all the time and never ever wash it. I need uh, 11 yards. 
six bag low chair air microfiber five inch slump 20 minutes apart concrete's ordered Customer looks like she's got questions for me. She just ran inside. Maybe she didn't have questions. Right at my teeth, Mike? Man! Wow. Wow, this corner's thick. Go all the way my way. All right, overlap it by one. Okay. Hey, do you know what all this stuff is? What? Do you know what all these grease stains are? No, we washed the whole thing off. I saw that yesterday in the picture too. I was like, what is that? We're gonna have to scrub that with like, we got that orange cleaner. So they have it on there. Just lay it over the step and then you can trim that. So you cut this off, you can lay that and that in that corner, and then we just need some for here. That's pretty good. We got to trim this here because I got to put a 2x4 across to shut off. All right, it's after 7 o'clock and Daryl is still not at work. Oh, that's why he's not answering. There he is. Oh, brother. Daryl's here. All right, we got to set a shut off. It's not too bad. I can live with that. Can I cut joints today? No, not today. <laughs> I have to ask every day. Why'd you drive the motorcycle for real? What's wrong with your truck? All right, so what we're going to do is... uh. We're gonna obviously not set this now, but once we get out to here with the concrete, we'll set this two by four, we'll put our felt against it, set the felt, we'll leave the two by four in, we'll pour all this, we'll leave, I don't know, five or six shovelfuls of extra concrete, and then when it sets up just a little bit, somebody will run across there with a knee board, with knee boards, pull the shut off, and then uh, float it up nice to the felt, keep the felt nice and straight. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's really not that bad. We've done it a million times before. All right, concrete's just about here. And, uh, you know, I left early yesterday. All they had to do was grade the garage. We're putting the, uh, you know, getting everything prepared. And I'm looking at the grade. It doesn't look right. I run a string across, two and a half inches thick. So we're regrading the whole garage, taking a bunch of gravel out. So, do I ever get mad? Yes, I do. When I have to do stuff like this, stuff that we do on a daily basis, it should just be like clockwork every time. There's no reason, there's no excuses for it. I let the guys have it, so um, there was a couple of them that were responsible, but whatever. It is what it is. We gotta get this gravel out of here so we can get our five inches of concrete. This is all still super high, dude. Super high. Four. It's the only spot that's five on this whole floor is right here. It's the only spot. This is all gotta come down. It's three, three and a half. Keep working, Eric, man. Concrete's coming. Dude, this is never, we'll ever, that. ever to happen again. I am furious that we have to do this right now. Two and a half inches thick, that thing would have fell apart. 
and I would have been replacing it again. All right, the garage floor is regraded. We took about two and a half yards of gravel out. That was no fun, it was a lot of work. Not something you wanna do first thing in the morning on a very hot day right before concrete, but uh, I let the guys know how I feel and now it's over. We're gonna pour. I told them never again, don't ever let this happen again. And uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it at that. It was only a couple guys that did it and I'm not gonna be crabby the rest of the day and make everybody suffer having to deal with my attitude. So attitude's over. Uh, concrete's on the way. We're gonna pour this out just like we normally would and just move on with our day. Oh, you need the stone. So no, just the now we had to shovel all this out of here and now you want to take my stone no, for not free? I'm take it for free. I was just saying, if, wow. you guys don't want, if you don't want to bring your the whole equipment over here, I could just bring the dump and just put it in. You're going to shovel it in your dump truck? It's a lot of work, man. Let me see. I think you got bigger though. It looks like 11 and a quarter now, yeah, for real. Concrete's here! This is uh, 11 yards, it's two trucks. Our concrete trucks here, the maximum they can carry is nine and a half yards. Mike, hold one side of the string. Eric, that's not where it goes. It goes right here, dude. Right here, right here, right here. Right on this concrete, right under the trim. Okay. Uh, to there. It goes on this side. All right, second truck's here. I don't know this driver. I don't think. Morning. How are you? Alright. Yeah. I don't think I know you. I've been here before. You've been here before? Oh with you guys. Been there twice or three times. Probably twice or three times. Really? Yeah. Maybe I was just busy. Oh! First one he hits the form. No, you actually hit the form. You always put concrete in these corners oh, so the water oh, yeah. doesn't sit. Of course we're pouring that area. Come on. No, we're all done. We'll come back tomorrow for the rest. Thank you. Do we need more, he said. No, not at all. Take some down, man. No, don't go over the felt. Don't go over the felt. Just shovel it out when we get to the felt. Leave it in there. Are you leaving it in? Oh, we have to for a while. I leave that pin in too because that's going to go all crooked. We're going to go sideways, so whatever side you want to start on. Come on, man. We got we to gotta rhythm it. Okay. I'm so dizzy right now. I'm dizzy, man. I don't have that rhythm. I'm serious. Holes. Hang on, Eric. There's a big hole, dude. Pull more on an angle. There's a big dip right there. Put concrete in there, right here. It's too low. It's on, you know, our slab's on an angle. You gotta float at that same angle. Otherwise, there's a, gonna be a dip. Digging, man. 
You're like a human excavator with the strike off. Oh, you jumped on the bull float? Wow. It's already bull floated and he jumped on the bull float. Unbelievable, Eric. Look how high this is and Eric's bull float nothing. He could have been over here floating my edge. Oh, now you got concrete on your boots again. We need about six shovels extra. Remember the bull float, that's not even struck. That's super high right there. You gotta float that off. That's interesting. I've been using this concrete a long time and I've never seen this little aggregate in here. They must have changed something. There's a lot of little tiny aggregate in here. I've never seen that in my concrete before. I'm gonna have to call and ask. Concrete seems a little better today. It's not as gooey and sticky as it's been. Maybe they're trying to make some adjustments so we can work with it again. All right, concrete's all down. <sighs> Garage floor is nice and flat, no humps or bumps. Concrete's pretty nice to work with. You think you can finish that triangle by yourself? I don't know, it's gonna be hard. I know, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I got some finishing aid and stuff if you need it. All right, I'll go ready. How come in garages you don't put expansion in the slab there? On the inside? Yeah, on the inside. This frost doesn't get in there. Really? It doesn't ever move. Even when it's not insulated or nope. heated or anything? No. Huh. Frost frost can't get in because you got footings all the way around. Oh, yeah, I suppose. They're frost walls, so frost can't get under the garage. So, so the slab never moves. Okay. I mean, it settles if you put it like they did on top of, you know, loose fill. Yeah. But it never moves up and down. Okay. So the expansion joint is so those two hard surfaces don't rub on each other and chip all the edges when it's moving in the winter. Okay. That's really the purpose of expansion felt. <clears throat> but in the garages, you don't need it because that's a solid footing. Concrete feels nice, don't it? Yeah. Well, get down. Daryl, there's still concrete in the power buggy. Where do you want me to put it? You need to put the... Dude, you don't take care of my stuff, man. Yeah, put it in a five gallon pail and clean the buggy, dude. It's all hard. Come on, man. Just sitting around doing nothing when there's hard concrete on the tools is not acceptable. You can't leave hard concrete in the buggy, man. This is really simple. Like, we forget this stuff on a daily basis. No, I don't. All right, that's as far as I can reach. And I made a crooked right at the end. Go on. All right, that is straight. Nice and straight. This is the only joint besides the one that's gonna go across the center of the garage the other direction. Guys will put that in by hand with a with a strike off. That's it. That looks great. I notice sometimes depending on the camera and the angle, when I'm walking by my joints, when I'm editing, my joints look like curved when they're straight. It's kind of weird. I noticed that on a couple videos. I don't know, I don't know what it is with the camera, but no, they're not cooked. They're not crooked like that, if you ever see that. Eric, you're the lightest guy, so you're gonna have to go out there, pull a two by four, fill it all in with concrete, edge both sides nice and straight. All right, well, the guys poured this slab down here. Unfortunately, they slopped cream all over the driveway, so that's not good. When Eric comes back to get this gravel, he's gonna have to clean that off with a wire wheel. That would look terrible. What? I take the boat out today. Daryl, do you really think you deserve to take my boat out? <laughs> yes, <come laughs> wow. <laughs> Eric, I won't wait too long on that edge. It's gonna be hard, you'll be struggling. You better get it when it's wet. Francisco, you can finish that with them too. I mean, when it's ready, you can do the bottom, he can do the top. Knock that out of the way because that garage floor is still too wet to trowel. This size aggregate, that was never in my concrete before. No, that's like that sand stuff. This thing kind of... This, yeah. this kind of stuff was never in my mix before. No. Huh. But it did like, you know, it seemed to be pretty nice concrete. They'll get it, man. It's a good company, you know. Yeah. They'll keep working on it until they get it and we're happy. I think they like the channel because it gives them feedback. Okay. They can see what it actually is like for us dealing with good concrete versus garbage concrete. Yeah. Well, I'm just happy right now that we have cement here. Yeah. There's no cement shortage all across the country, not all across, but in a lot of states. Uh, they're, they're having a schedule like a month out or more. There's a big shortage. They can't get it. Contractors are struggling in a lot of places. 
I gotta stop Francisco. I don't know what he's doing, but the two by four. Did they pull it yet? No, 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 no. Eric, what are you doing, man? You gotta edge on that side where the felt is, then you pull the two by four. And then we put that concrete in and float it to the felt. Do you think we're leaving a two by four in the concrete, Eric? <laughs> no, just edge the top and then pull the two by four. And make sure it's really flat with the felt. Just keep going, Eric, just edge that quickly. So you can pull the two by four and start working on that. You use a square trowel, Eric? Yep. Man, you're a pro. People see me use a pool trowel once in a while, they're like, oh, he's a rookie. He don't know what he's doing. <laughs> like, oh, give me a break, man. Like, yeah. Well, do we have, that? we have that concrete, so. That's what the concrete's for, Eric. Are you still not understanding what we're doing here? No, I know, I know what you're doing. Okay. Oh, look at Marcel racing on a 250. Thing's probably got like 60 horsepower. Maybe. Garbage man! Man, a garbage man's here. Yeah! Nice work! Hey, he scooped that up like nothing. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I can't really use a square one. I don't know what I'm doing with that one. I'm only answering this if it's bugs or my wife. Arizona. Victory, this is Ryan. Hey Ryan, this is Blaine on Flagstaff, Proform Concrete. Hi. Hey, I was just going to let you know that uh, keep up the good videos. I love watching them. Thank you. All right, that's looking good. That's looking real nice. How is it back there? Pretty wet yet? Is it really wet? It's not wet in the sun, that's for sure. Now, I'm going to do some important stuff. I'm going to start stripping some of these forms. As you can tell, there's a lot of forms to strip today, so I'm going to start knocking them out. Always take the nail out first and then pull the pin. And you don't want to get stuff on the edges. Wow, Daryl, you stripped all the forms already? Yeah. Wow, what about that one? Oh, that's got to get finished. Francisco, can you finish that? That's going to get away from us, man. Is it finished already? It's stripped. Dude, you got to edge this. You got to edge the seam. Oh, that's going to be so hard. That's going to be super hard. Put some water. <laughs> oh, that's got to get edged right there, too? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, Unbelievable, it got away from us. <laughs> Here, let me get in there. That's going to be really difficult. Oh, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Yeah. Otherwise, it just looks like a crack again. It's better to look like a seam than a crack. Okay. Because they already had a crack. Anybody seen Daryl? 
Oh, that figures. He's on the other side of the truck. Shocker. Oh, there he is. Are you busy? Yeah, I yeah. am. You got the key to the motorcycle? It's in there. It's in the ignition? Yeah. I'm going to take it for a rip. I had a, uh, I had a Honda VTX 1800 up until a couple years ago. I sold it to Bugs. That thing was a beast. It was only like one, maybe 10, 115. But the thing went, the thing had a lot of torque. No fun, too slow, way too slow. Yeah, pet the bees, Daryl. It's a really good idea. There's a big one right there. Pick that one up. You gotta really try to make them angry though. <laughs> yeah, right. Eric, Daryl, did you break this edge? No. Sure did. No, Daryl, look at this. I the destroyer. The <sighs> maybe, I, maybe it came off. Oh. It fell off. This just came off on its own. See? That's. <laughs> River? I got you. Workman's comp for six weeks. Man, you are sweated through everything. Marcel's, Marcel's not even sweating. That was close, Marcel. That was, close. That was really close. Right, oh, right on Francisco's <laughs> work. Thing. Good, good thing that's rock hard down there, though. You hear your mate? Oh, how, Eric? Daryl, what are you doing? You're watching Victory? Yeah, I'm watching oh, Victory. brother. Videos, videos, videos. Seems like I can never make enough videos. <sighs> videos are a lot of work and they wear you down over time. Just trust me on that one. But I do enjoy it and I have no plans on slowing down or stopping anytime soon. I am 100% committed. Yeah, they do. If I ever help anybody give somebody money, they're like, Oh, you're just doing it for the views. It is what it is. I think I care too much what people think, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I've gotten a lot better with that. In the beginning, it was rough, but now I do a lot better with that. Still bothers me a little bit here and there, depending on what's said, but for the most part, we're good. Yeah, it doesn't stay. Hey, uh, somebody got pliers! Um, let me just grab a... Uh, let me just grab a little felt and set it down. I gotta see this. Set it down. I mean, the concrete's hard, dude. It's not like it's gonna damage the concrete. It's hard as a rock. Perfect. Yeah, you're ringing wet, man. Look at you. It's all that cholesterol is burning. Ooh. It's all high cholesterol. It's about time you were working hard. <laughs> In there was like an oven. Yeah, I know. It's hot out today. It's in the 90s right now in the garage. It's even warmer. All right, we're done with this little project here. Everything went good except for having to regrade this morning. But like I said, we're not going to talk about that anymore. Concrete turned out nice. We already closed the garage door. We left it open just a, just a touch. But tomorrow we're starting a very large project. It's a big driveway. Part of it's removal and replacement, and part of it is new construction. Um, there's a patio. It's all stamped and a big front sidewalk. It should be a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to get out of here. It's still early. It's like lunchtime, but I'm sending everybody home, and I'm going to go lay in bed and try to recover. I'm hoping to feel a little bit better by tomorrow. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. 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 Hi. Funny to see you here. What do you have there? Grandma had this in an old church. Wow. Hi. What are you doing here? And look oh, she came here for lunch. Is Trish here? No, no. She, she's home. Oh, she's home? Oh, okay. I thought I'd let you know that I'm a fan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, sleeping. As usual. Well, my wife wasn't here, but my, my mom and two kids. 
Daniel and Joanna. Right, Daniel? Yeah. Where's your tooth? Let me see. Where'd it go? I lost that. Three more of that's with me. Three. Wow.